Northwest Arkansas Pride is the entity under Northwest Arkansas Equality. It started out years ago, we're on our 15th year for the parade. Um, it was literally just a parade and a little gathering of folks. There might have been 100 people there. By 2017, it had grown to about 700 or so folks in the parade and about 6,000 people attending the festival. Last year, we grew to over 2,200 in the parade. We've gone so long as kind of being second-class citizens. We, you know, haven't been able to marry, couldn't get health insurance together for the longest time. And so I think it's very, very important, you know, to do this in our town, especially in Arkansas. I mean, this is a big deal for, for Fayetteville, Arkansas, and Northwest Arkansas as a whole. I mean, 15 years ago when this started, I wouldn't have Tyson, Walmart, Procter & Gamble, and all these other great sponsors that we have wanting to give us money to put this on. One of the things that I kept telling myself when I was growing up was that um, it'll, it'll pass by. I'll grow out of it. Me being gay was just a phase. I never believed that I was, so it was super hard for me to be real with others. So that was one of the things that always caused me to have a barrier with everyone else in like, the outside world and my, myself especially. As soon as I got older, I started realizing that that's obviously not gonna change. I go to bed who I am, I wake up who I am, I will do everything in my life the way that I am. I can proudly say to anyone if they were to ever ask me the question that, yeah, I'm gay and so what? We did not expect the growth that we had from 2017 to 2018. You're going to meet people from all walks of life. You'll meet drag queens, you'll meet bears, you'll meet people from our transgender community, you'll meet uh, gay men, you'll meet lesbian women, um, you'll meet a bunch of straight allies. Um, you'll see great shows, you'll see some amazing floats amazing walking groups in the parade. Just a really good time. Everybody just had the best time last year. One of the lieutenants at the police department came up to me and goes, I don't think I've ever been hugged more in my life than during this event. We have just been absolutely amazed by the response that we've received from the community. One thing that I told myself growing up was that if I was the way that I felt like I was inside, that I was living in sin. I convinced myself that if I was who I felt like I was inside, which was a girl who liked girls, and I had never really been around a lot of that, I felt like there was something wrong with me. But I always felt like I was not being who I was, and that's like the worst feeling ever. And I would go to bed at night and think about it and I would try to block it out and it, it felt like I had a sick feeling all the time because not being true to who you are and trying to pretend that you're somebody that you're not is like, it's a really horrible feeling. And I think about how much that I wanna marry Micah, my girlfriend, and how much like I imagine the moment. I just like, it gives me chill bumps to even talk about it because like, I'm gonna marry her and we're gonna walk down an aisle and we're gonna walk down the aisle somewhere beautiful that's gonna let us do it and we're gonna have an Arkansas marriage license and she's gonna be my wife. The Northwest Arkansas Equality Center is the center that oversees and helps out Northwest Arkansas LGBTQ community. They strive to help our community with peer support groups and HIV testing programs and then our social programs that happen throughout the year and we're currently trying to expand these programs. I grew up in a different time than, you know, the young kids nowadays. I'm 58, and I was raised very sheltered, so I was afraid. I was just afraid. Um, the reaction to my parents, the way they've already talked previously about, you know, homosexuality in, in the house, it affected my self-esteem. So, yeah, I didn't have much courage back then because I was just in fear. I knew I was gay and I ended up getting married to, to a lady and we uh, ended up getting uh, divorced, but I ended up with two wonderful sons and I became uh, a single parent. I kept my sons and they were the biggest cheerleaders, the biggest supporters and they gave me so much love and that's what gave me the confidence to finally admit to the fact that I felt I was more female than male. When I went out there, it just, all the hatred that I had gotten as a male dressed very flamboyant with makeup. It, it disappeared, it was almost like I felt, okay, this should have been me all along, and it just became easy. We need to be complete, we need to be whole, and hopefully society can start to see that.
I want them to come away with a sense of hope and love and knowing that they're accepted, knowing that not just they're accepted within their the LGBT community, but also accepted in our community as a whole. And then, you know, for straight allies to come down that have never been to Pride before, I think it's a great experience. You kind of get to see, you know, the whole gay community come together in one area, in one party, and have a great time. I think it's important to create awareness for not just the LGBT community um, in a, of ourselves, but for the actual community as a whole. You know, we're here, we do matter, and this is our month to celebrate who we are.